Inder Sharma Foundation agrees to contribute rupees 1 crore towards building an India Tourism Board. The industry for long has been asking for a national tourism board that is empowered. I, on behalf of the Inder Sharma Foundation, am very delighted to put the first 1 crore commitment uh, that will should be there. Uh, I think there are others in the industry that would be happy to do so. Uh, and let's put this together. Let's raise at least a corpus, at least I say a corpus of 50 crores. Uh, let's put together an empowered uh, board uh, that works for the industry. Now, I think the government has given us a lot of impetus with the GST reduction, with the e-visa. It's now the time for the industry to put its money where its mouth is. Tourism board like this, which has got private sector and government money in it, could actually look at quality rather than the lowest price point. So they are very, they are very early thoughts that I have. TV is, you know, is keep me updated about the trade. So I don't have to, you know, search for any news. Early morning I get, so you know, some message followed by the video. So once you have seen that, you know what is happening in the market, and that is keeping you updated. The growing potential of Buddhist tourism in India is inevitable. Today, we discuss further on India's Diamond Triangle. This is the lifeline, no? 35 countries, 40 countries, all Buddhist countries. Everyone, they want to come in a life. This is the Diamond Triangle. We want to say whole the world. This is the main Diamond Triangle. If you want to do business, come, but with a clean mind. Travel agent is not only for the business uh, platform he must improve the local people and you see new new market you must generate the actual uh, tourists who travel in the circuit uh, need the help of tour operators now these tour operators apart from visiting the sites and indulging in the ritual they should also create other experiences so every destination it requires two to three days itinerary to enjoy, to experience that particular destination, but everything is hurried up here. Only uh, uh, this uh, Mahabodhi Temple, which is a living heritage site, you know, but other sites are treated under um, uh, Archaeological Survey of India, and it is mainly a heritage site. The devouts who are coming, they are restricted for their prayers and for their meditation. If we, if the site becomes a living heritage, I think more and more people would come and there won't be any restriction. And definitely there'll be a lot of tourism, tourist activities will also grow. 